Hey everyone, it's the Electronic Gamer here. So, as you can see here, everything looks a lot more vibrant. Well, that's because I actually did get a new graphics card. So, I'm going to be doing a replay of this game I tried to do called Amnesia The Dark Descent. I honestly really like this game. I played it last night and the graphics weren't the best. But now that I got this new graphics card, it looks really good. So now, I'm going to do a complete replay through the game from the very beginning and see if there's anything I missed from when I first played the game. So, as you saw as a short, I said there would be a new video in 10 minutes. So, here we are. So, sit back, relax, and watch your boy go into some freaky gaming. So, I heard of this game from when PewDiePie played it a long time ago. Yeah, I used to watch PewDiePie. So, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new game. Grab my glasses. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Who is that? Here? My name is... Yes. I am... So, I'm from London. Oh! This is a lot better looking. What is this door? Okay, now that it's gotten louder and it Another tinder ball. Really like
Oh. Ah, yes. Yeah, oh, ho The sound is amazing in this game. I hope this is ch as good as it is on my end, but I'll check after this video, but for me, this is really cool. What's that? Okay, now... Not like freaked out, but now I'm wondering what the fuck. Your footsteps. What's coming? Awesome, though. I love the sound, though. I'm noticing so many passageways I didn't even know were real in this game. So, that's actually really cool. At least it's not... Man, the work this ending really cool.
Okay, that actually looks badass now. It's actually really cool. of August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down I reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Alexander. Terrible man. You'll find out why. I'm gonna check back in my study.
Aha! I knew it! So many things I noticed in this game I never noticed before. I'm impressed. He fell to the kitchen floor. Here's the beginning. Of the Alexander, is it inside the castle? Alexander. In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Let's keep playing. I was not expecting that, so that was genuine. I would not. I'm gonna explore if I go to the lab. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum.
hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Aaron. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Could possibly. Okay then. Wasn't well, expecting that. Hello. Hello to you too. What a nice man. He said hello to me. Oil! 
I haven't really noticed it passing. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. I, I'm trapped. Wait a minute. Seventeenth May, eighteen thirty nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized. It was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel.
since I see this video is now 32 minutes long, I'm gonna start this, I'm gonna stop this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everything came out well, because I really want to make a series of this game, since I got my new graphics card. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new gaming videos. I plan to upload new videos every week, or at least every two weeks, somewhere in there. But I'm going to be trying to get more consistent with my videos now. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. God bless you all.